I'm with me right now, still here, Gold Shore correspondent Shachal Beled. Hello, Lucy. Back to the future. <laughs> yeah, well, I want to take you back to the past. Oh. July 1985, the year when the DeLorean car was the coolest car around. And 30 years ago, exactly Back to the Future was released, a film that was instantly a worldwide cultural phenomenon. Uh, and how could it not be? I love this movie. It's, I love this movie. It's a great movie. movie and it's a great trilogy, executive produced by Steven Spielberg, directed by Robert Zemeckis and starring Michael J. Fox. In fact, it was mostly shot in nighttime because during daytime he was in family ties in the TV show. So it was all built up around his schedule. And it became the most successful film of 1985. And later on with the sequels, of course, video games. Um, there was an a animated television series, a theme park ride after Back to the Future. It was the real deal. And this year, over the weekend at least, people were actually celebrating these 30 years of this movie. I can't believe it. It's really a timeless movie about time. I can't believe it. It's been 30 years. And um, over the weekend, celebrations were from, um, uh, there was Marty McFly, the leading character, of course, lookalike contests. Mm -hmm. There was a special screening, including a screening in LA with 17,000 people, most of whom were dressed as Doc and Marty McFly. And here's my favorite, a town named August which changed its name Friday to Hill Valley Ooh. just for the day. Hill Valley is, of course, the yes, location where most of the film takes place. And so everyone's very much excited and with um, a good right. You know, uh, what did they, you know, all about uh, Back to the Future is about what ha they are going to the future and they're seeing things that, that are not in their time. Right. Did they predict anything? So, so in the sequel, in Back to the Future 2, they predict uh, October 21st, 2015, which is right around the corner. But there we could see flying cars and um, hoverboards and uh, Nikes that could lace themves. We still don't have those. Well, we have a few more months until we get there. So yeah, we, we still have time maybe to see cars some flying any. cars. Um, but the weird thing is that there's still payphones, according to the movie producers. In 2015, we see less payphones today. Uh, but they were saying that they could not predict the future. So they actually made it a funny future. We could see the clothes. We can see the way people walk and talk. They they decided to go to the comic I'm trying side. Trying to think to come in one of these costumes tomorrow to work. That could be very, <laughs> a, a very interesting. And um, well, they thought in the 80s at least that it would be suitable for the 2015 year um, to look like that. Um, anyway, um, it, it all began uh, um, when um, when the one of the producers uh, looked at a yearbook of his father and wondered how it would be like to meet his father. And then uh, writing it with Robert Zemeckis, it, it started. The screenplay was actually rejected by 40 studios until they met Steven Spielberg, who fell in love, and you know, it's, it's who, amazing, who didn't. You said something uh, this afternoon, and you said that it's, it's amazing to see how limited uh, our imagination is. It's true, it's true. And w of course, w without the ability to see ahead to mobile phones and the internet and things that are very much part of our life today, I don't think we could look ahead 30 years and really understand what life will be like, especially when it comes to technology. Uh, we can only hope for flying cars. That's uh, apparently been an aspiration of humankind it for a long will time. It solve a lot of problems. Really? I think there will be a lot, a lot of accidents uh, up there in the sky, a lot of death. Um, but we'll have to wait and see what another 30 years will bring. I'm waiting for the time that we will have flying cars. It will save me, save me <laughs> so much time. Traffic. Well, you'll be Traffic. stuck in air between cars. Yeah, I'm, I'm certain. Yeah, it will, be, am, it will yeah. be awful. And with us Israelis, the way that we're driving. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Like Greek people. <laughs> I guess so. I it's the same area, Mediterranean area. Mediterranean. We're all hope-minded. Shahal Bella, thank you very, thank very you. much for being with me and ending with me the show.